I got on YouTube and after understanding how all the compressors worked, their before and after didn't really sound any different to me. There's nothing in their videos that it's telling me that they're hitting the guitar with the same intensity every single time that they strum the guitar with and without the pedal. I went and got a Keeley compressor pedal. After trying it, I couldn't really hear the difference in my own rig. So to fully understand the pedal, I connected my Keeley Compressor Plus pedal into an ABY box using the exact same strum, using the exact same intensity, every other setup is exactly the same except for the compressor. For this analysis, the upper part, it has a raw signal. The lower part has a compressed signal. On the left hand side, we have the EQ analysis. And on the right hand side, we have the wave analysis. For your listening pleasure, the left channel is a clean guitar and the right channel is a compressed guitar. The first thing to notice is that the compressed signal is limited and it never has peaks as the one above it. To me, one of the biggest advantages of our compressor is that you can avoid having weird volume shifts between a single coil or a humbucker in your live rig. advantage is that it will help lift the notes that are played lighter in a solo. In my personal opinion, I do think that a compressor is a valuable tool. It has helped me and my band to bring the presence up in my guitar rig and also make things a little bit more even and predictable. I hope you enjoyed this video and you were able to take something valuable from this video. If you want to learn more about guitars, computers and other topics, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.